They moved the Christie for President sign from behind the podium at today's press conference in New Brunswick. The governor said today was not about politics and more about the pending nuclear deal with Iran, a matter of security for the state of Israel and the world, and an opportunity to take shots at President Obama. Presidents can be flawed. And when they make mistakes, men and women of goodwill in the United States Congress have to stand up regardless of party and prevent those mistakes from happening. And today, the person of goodwill the governor was referring to was Senator Cory Booker, who despite his well-chronicled Jewish bona fides and significant campaign funding from Jewish groups, has not yet made his position known on the deal. For Senator Booker this morning, the people of your state, the people of this country, and the people of the world are counting on you to be a strong, direct, and powerful moral voice. To look your president in the eye, to look our president in the eye, and say, no, Mr. President, not this time. Not this time. Booker's silence on the deal is in sharp contrast to the state's senior senator, who put the president on notice last week that he would be voting no. Rabbi Shmuley Boteach, a longtime Booker friend, warned of what he says are the serious ramifications of the deal on the Middle East and on the world at large. We do not want war, we want peace. But this deal will lead to war because it will arm a belligerent and hostile government that threatens to annihilate the only democracy in the Middle East and the only place where Arabs and Jews live as co-equal citizens with full and equal rights. There was no room for subtlety here today. This is a group that sees Iran as an existential threat to Israel and an aggressive and belligerent regional power that doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. Is there no way to see Iran's perspective as feeling threatened by a nuclear-armed Israel? I do not believe they're threatened by a nuclear-armed Israel, if indeed Israel has nuclear weapons. I believe the world is threatened by a nuclear-armed Iran because it has sponsored terrorism repeatedly, and uh, that is uh, true not only in that region, but really around the world. It was a bit ironic that the man who has spent nearly half of his second term outside of the state would return to New Jersey to talk about foreign policy. But the state press corps saw it as an opportunity to get in some Jersey questions. If you'll allow off topic yeah, no. Well, we gave it a shot. Christie says he called this press conference to call on Booker and others in the New Jersey congressional delegation to vote against the Iran deal. And mostly, he stuck to that calling Booker an important friend and influential leader. Booker's office told us today that he had not made a decision on the Iran deal and gave no timetable as to when he would. Jewish leaders say until he makes up his mind officially, they'll continue to do their part to help him get there. In New Brunswick, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.